What's up guys and welcome back to another episode with me Link to Killer and today we're gonna go extreme That's right guys. We're gonna go extreme and hopefully make this number stay green forever. That's right We're going extreme reactors but Before we do that. I wanted to show y'all something This thing's been working and we're we got one. I want a stack of these so this thing's gonna be working and this thing is slowly working too and the tablet's not even being powered so what I'm guessing is you don't need the tablet powered to have the quarry going which is pretty sweet if you think about it so I think that's what we're gonna do today is get a big reactor up and running and then maybe next episode maybe we'll do a couple of other worlds and set them up up here might be able to do one more of these I'm not sure that's the uh, the hard part is making this thing and I don't think I have enough to make another one if we could do two worlds at once that would make our life a hell of a lot easier because the quarries are cheap it's just the uh, this stuff is not so we definitely can do another compressor and let that go but for now I want to get started on the extreme reactor which I think would be kind of fun to do so I already made some recipes and we're just gonna go ahead and ask for some um, parts to be made up and while that's doing that we're going to grab some stone because we're gonna we're gonna build it right here like that so this is gonna be a one two three four five six seven seven by seven which should be really good starter reactor um, it's been a long time since I did a um, <clears throat> a uh, what you might call it reactor a uh, turbine I think the last one I ever did was with Renovate. So, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if we can do something like that again. Um, no. Shoot. There we go. So we're going to go one more. I guess so. Did this thing just like pathfind around that? That's kind of groovy. So that's that. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven. That's all we will need. Just fill this in for now. And we'll clear you out. <clears throat> like that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. use the drill it's a little OP at times <laughs> so I'm just gonna clear this out by him fill this in cool so, are you still here? Okay, cool. Alright, so... That should be the space we need for this reactor. <clears throat> so, let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> and we can throw all this in there. We don't need you. We don't need you. Let's get some of these casings out of here. Many more. Many, many more. Builder's wand for the win. Okay, so now we're going to need to do some stuff. So, we're going to need some more casings crafted out. That's definitely going to be a thing. We're going to need one of these. That's how you can interact with the uh, power tap. With the... Um, reactor itself. We're going to need one of those because that's how you get the power out. We're also going to need reactor access port. We're going to need two of these. One will be in, one will be out. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to see this. So we're going to put these Here and here. We're going to put the power tap here. The controller, I want right here. And I want the dog to bark in the background. So kind of like this. And then builder's one. Cool. I like to see these off center. I don't like them being in the center. Um, so, reactor, fuel cell rods. I said that all wrong. These things. Let's see. One, two. How can we space them equally in here? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. Okay, cool. Now I don't have that on a craft. So let's go see what it has to take to do this. So we're gonna tell you to auto craft fuel. Rod. We'll stop with 120. Um, really? It's, um, allowed s the s substitution because we don't even need that. Let's see. Uh, uh -huh. Let's do 64. Okay. And also we're going to need some of this reactor glass. Which I, th I feel like 32 should be way overkill for what we need this for. Let's grab the casings. And we need these things too. What am I missing? We'll set those to autocrab too. Like so. So this is what I'm going to do guys. I got to go let the puppy in. Let me take a cut here. I'll get all this stuff autocrafted. So when we come back we can uh, just go ahead and set it up. And see what kind of trouble we can get into. So I will be right back. Alright guys. Welcome back. I got the stuff ready for us to do this. I actually bumped up the roof a little bit. Just so we can get this thing um, built up. So I think it's one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these will go in here. Like so.
Now this may not be the most efficient one, but if it produces a lot of power, I will be happy with that. That's all I'm gonna say. Now I'm wondering if I lay these here, can I use the builders on? Oh yes. Cool. So then we can put these things on top of here. Kind of like so. Haha. -ha. And we can bump out a hole so we can come out here and run these on the front. Glass on the front. Uh, I got an extra one of these. Is that right? Oh, one shot. My mistake. So let's go and get another fuel rod. <clears throat> Craft it up. And I also had some stuff ready for us today. I probably made way more than we need, but I think that's fine. So if we come up here. You, you. And then we can push this stuff out of our area here. And we're just gonna Does this not work anymore? I did not know that. That's not good. I was hoping for this stuff to uh, just one little bloop bloop and be done, but I guess that's not a thing. This may take us a while. So let's see, I guess it takes five buckets per hole. Shoot, unless you screw up like that. So how many holes we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need 50 buckets. That does not sound too horrible. Um, we might want to put some of this stuff away. Just so we have the room to put max mount bucket. Alright, let's see. Bucket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11, now I think there's a thing in thermal expansion that you can actually use it's you can like right click it it acts just like a bucket I forget the name of it but you can actually fill it up with the uh, the stuff and you just right click it wherever you need it and I'm feeling like I should have did that, but I was going on an assumption that you didn't need to. I may have made a mistake. So we're just going to sit here and dump all these buckets in here. So I'll bring you guys back once I get this done because I'm probably going to be here for a while. So BRBs. All right, guys, we are back. So... I got it together, I put it all back together. It looks pretty sick. I like it, it looks really nice. Um, once you finish it all, it does complete, but there was a problem. I guess because the fuel rod is right on top of that block, it wouldn't let me put these blocks there, so I ended up putting those on the back. And then on the, uh, I had the power tap here, I moved it to over there and it seemed to work. I don't know why that is. 
So I have no clue why, but uh, it's all working. So we can empty out inventory of all this junk. Cool. Now we're going to have to hook this thing up to the ME system, which shouldn't be too difficult. And I actually want to upgrade some of these conduits. And I think the next level conduits are going to be the most trickiest of them all. Uh, ducks. Is it a duck? I think it's a duck. Yeah. 25k. Yeah, we're just going to go for it all and just go for those. Um, can we not? Yeah, we can make them. No, we can't make them. Okay. So apparently we need to make redstone energy, which I think we have those. Yes. Okay. So we can do those, which then we need to upgrade to this. Okay. Can we even? No. Because why not go to the extreme? So we can do that. And then what are those called? Those are signalium pipes. We'll request one of you. And we're going to say, hey, I need one of you crafted up like so. And now our system is capable of crafting the top tier ducks, which is very going to be very, 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 very helpful. So we're going to do half a stack of those. I'm probably off camera going to update all these to the new ones all the way throughout the base, even that way. I'm not going to do it now. But we're going to do it later on. So let's jump down here. And kind of clear our way. To the center hub. Kind of like so. Let's see right now we got that there. That there. I kind of want to move you here. And tell you. Um input okay and then we'll move you under this floor into there okay and then we can go boop 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 boop, boop. And we need to export import because we gotta export the stuff and import the stuff like good country folk um, I probably shouldn't have thrown those back. Give me uh, some of those, some of these. I need to export. And an import. It's always the sticky piston I don't have. Import Yellerium. That actually should last us around. Uranium. We don't have much uranium. It's slowly building back up, but I don't think we should use it because we don't have much, but eh, yellow it sometimes. Alright, we're just gonna do the yellerium. You heard them. So we're gonna go boop, 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 wrong way. There we go. And first up. So we're going to inlet export yellowium. We're going to export import. Hopefully that was not confusing. Alright. So with that, this should slowly come online, hopefully. Um, and why does that? Let me throw this stuff back in here. 
There's all flux ducks. Yep, well, I can see it filling up as is. So then we can go. I have no clue what I'm doing. Boop. 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 Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. I guess these covers work? I don't remember. If they do, that would be great. If they don't, that would suck. Um, that's fine, I guess. And then... We cover these holes up. I am short a couple of blocks there. Now with these ducks, we're transporting 25k into this thing. So, yeah. I think we're going to have this on the lockdown. Go boop, boop. It looks great. Besides, you know, this part here where it's um, missing some stone. But, if I hit this big button here we're making we're getting a little hot that's fine I guess um, 18k power I think that's fine maybe so yeah we're, we're pretty efficient I mean this is at point four millibuckets of fuel so that's pretty efficient I mean we're flickering 16k so I think that's gonna hold up for a little while at least and this thing is slowly cranking away we're up to four already since this episode so that's good we got everything we got to do done today next episode I have no clue what we're gonna do but we definitely gonna have to uh play around with some other stuff and get it going in the background just so we don't have to worry about it until until we gotta get it done so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you hit that like button let me know in the comments down below if everything you liked so far today and uh let me know how y'all like the season going i am actually enjoying myself we're exploring all the mods i put in this thing and um yeah we're reaching my goal of surpassing the avant 3 um series i think we're on episode 61 which is incredible so let me throw some torches down in here bam bam look at that that looks beautiful and if we wanted to we can put a turbine on top that's the whole plan